Welcome to another challenge. This is going to be a really short track. As you remember in our first track, we touched on the topic of managed versus self-service backups. In this track, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that topic. So let's get started. As you remember, backup services can be divided into two categories, managed backup services and self-service. In the case of managed backup services, service providers provision and manage all of the backup and recovery operations on behalf of the end users. In other words, the service provider is in charge of all of the operations related to provisioning, consulting, backup, and recovery management. This type of backup service is easy and reliable. Customers don't need to have any technical knowledge in backup technology and virtualization to create backup plans and perform backups of their machines. Moreover, it saves a lot of time and resources for the customers since they don't have to allocate their resources towards managing their backups. On the other hand, this type of service has a number of limitations. First, it is more expensive as compared to self-service. Moreover, the customers might face some restrictions imposed by their service provider. For example, to keep their backups just within a certain geographical area. The target audiences for managed backup services are primarily value-added resellers and large system integrators. A value-added reseller can benefit from this type of service, especially if it uses the Acronis hosted model. In this case, Acronis takes care of all the backup plans of the customers, so the service provider may not have to allocate any resources to those operations. In turn, a large system integrator can benefit from managed backup services, especially if it uses the Acronis Backup Cloud hybrid or service provider hosted models. In this case, it saves a lot of time and resources for the customers, since all the backup operations are managed automatically by the service provider. In the case of self-service backup, the service provider provisions the service, but enables the end user staff to manage all of the backup and recovery operations on their own. In other words, the service provider is just in charge of the operations related to provisioning and consulting, whereas the end users are in charge of backup and recovery management operations. This type of service is characterized by lower direct costs as compared to managed backup. It also allows higher flexibility for the customers, since they don't face any restrictions imposed by service providers. On the other hand, the customers need to have technical knowledge in their backup technology and virtualization to create backup plans and perform backups of their machines. Moreover, customers should have sufficient resources to allocate their backup operations. The target audiences for self-service backup are hosting and cloud service providers that use Acronis Backup Cloud Hybrid or service provider hosted models. The major benefit for those audiences is high flexibility for their customers in terms of the possible backup and recovery options. Moreover, it doesn't require any resources to manage the backup plans of the customers. Well, that was a quick track. Let's move on to the next.